Last year, he presented how to get JTAG over USB at the 33C3. And today, he will tell us how to interrogate the Intel management engine in a similarly ingenious and devious way. Please join me in welcoming Maxime Goriachi to 34C3. Hello, guys. Uh, I'm speaking about um, Intel debug capabilities at this uh, conference for the second year in a row. Last time I talked um, about how um, a new Intel CPU low level debug technology called Intel uh, Direct Connect Interface uh, or DCI, and now I'm going to talk how activates uh, DCI for Intel management engine. Sorry. Uh, Connect uh, DCI is a private implementation of widely uh, known industry standards uh, for debugging hardware uh, and low level software from Intel. And uh, addition, uh, I uh, will talk about how it can be used uh, for uh, research and uh, how to use it in practice. Unfortunately, my colleague Mark uh, couldn't, uh, couldn't come, and uh, I will introduce our research alone. And uh, I think that you some hungry, and uh, I will be quickly. Uh, our, our management engine t research team at Positive Technologies includes uh, following researchers. Uh, my colleague Dmitry Sklarov and uh, Mark Yermolov, and uh, myself. Uh, Mark Yermolov, uh, it's my colleague uh, with, him, uh, with whom we found the vulnerability in Intel management engine. Uh, he's a system programmer and reverse engineer. Uh, and uh, Dmitry Sklarov, well known reverse engineer who did research uh, of the ME file system. Uh, he recovered Huffman codes for 11 version of ME. And uh, you can find uh, his tool for unpacking ME image and uh, for parsing ME uh, file system on our GitHub pages. Uh, and uh, how you can see, uh, our previous talk related uh, to me and our contacts. So you can feel free to communicate with us for any question um, you are interested about our research. Uh, how I have just uh, said, I will talk about what is Intel ME how it's implemented, and how we activated JTAG for ME Core with uh, vulnerability, which Mark and I found. Uh, then I disclose in details how our technique works and show uh, proving our achievements. Uh, how many people in this hall uh, knows what is ME? Oh, cool. But ME overview. The topic uh, of management engine uh, is very popular now. Uh, first, it's almost fully undocumented and very powerful. At the same time, for example, it uh, has full access to your platform's hardware, including CPU complex. It has uh, capabilities to intercept uh, all that you're doing on your PC. For example, key, uh, keyboard. He, uh, he has access to keyboard, to USB, and, uh, of course, PCI buses. Uh, and uh, it's also a root of trust for many um, Intel security features like TPM, like uh, DRAM, and APT. Uh, Intel has chosen the following design for ME11 version. Independent uh, microcontroller, uh, own operation system based on uh, Minix, uh, built-in Java machine 
it uh, gets standard uh, before main CPU. It uh, firmware has parts in PCH burned, burned uh, in memory and in SPI flash. Main Intel technologies are implemented with help of uh, management engine. Uh, for example, active management technology or uh, PAVP, and uh, we think that uh, HGX uh, too. Uh, another question: uh, How many people in this hall knows what is GTEC? Cool. But some uh, overview of GTEC. Uh, JTEC it's, um, stands for Joint Test Action Group, and you can find its description in IEEE standards, uh, which uh, the details available in the standard itself. Um, there is also the paper available on our blog where we design uh, uh, where the design is described in close details. Uh, out often, manufacturing extends standard JTAG by adding their own functions. JTAG in Intel uh, processor is uh, described rather poorly, uh, and some information uh, can be found in documents uh, and um, pa uh, patent. Uh, you can see our paper on the slide. And starting with Skylake, Intel introduced uh, direct connect interface technology, and you can find the rather um, uh, description of it in, in the documents and uh, in our works. Uh, the diagram show two types of connection using a specific device, uh, the so-called Intel SVT Closed Chases Adapter, or common USB 3 debug cable. Uh, I would like to note that the target system in this case uh, doesn't require any software or hardware agent. Uh, the drawback of, of this technology is that it works out of box. Intel Silicon View technology closed chassis adapter uh, provides access to day fix feature like JTAG and run control through USB 3 ports on uh, uh, silicon on, on platforms. Uh, it works uh, through um, USB 3 links, uh, but implements uh, uh, a private protocol and uh, makes it possible to manipulate the target system in deep sleep mode. Uh, it means that um, in this mode uh, you uh, have um, independent lines between uh, uh, in independent links between uh, JTAC adapter and PCH. USB 3 hosting DCI is a common USB 3 debug cable which works as a OTG device. That means that a special device appears on the host system, and activation and commands are sent to device through the common USB interface. Uh, the device itself is integrated into PCH, um, and uh, it transforms the command into JTAG. Uh, if you have JTAG for some uh, for ME devices, uh, it means you have almost full control of ME. Two main question: um, Does Intel provides uh, of any technique for debugging ME on public platforms? And the second: uh, What does software and hardware need for ME debugging? Okay. Then for uh, to the first question: Yes, we found uh, a special partition called UTOC, which allocated on the special. Uh, on the SPI flash, uh, where uh, storage ME. Uh, this partition has same structure as F FPT and another partition of ME. Partition includes entry of available debug capabilities on of these records, uh, means types of unlock red or orange. Uh, please pay attention, it will be important later. 
And what, is, what means the defix? Defix uh, is collective term for uh, next to abbreviation DFT designed for testability and uh, DFD designed for debugging. Uh, DFT is set of uh, technique used for manufacturing detec uh, def uh, defects finding of integrated um, chips and uh, standard DFT it's generally based on um, ordinary boundary scan JTAG commands, but uh, Intel extend, uh, extends it, uh, its DFT in its uh, branded Silicon View technology. DFD joins all internal chip level logic used to organize hardware level debugging of core sequences uh, executed by chips. Uh, the fix is connected to internal world by uh, a special thing called embedded day fix interface. Uh, this bridge connects day fix with uh, external industry interface like USB. There is a special device in Intel platform controller hub called day fix aggregator. Its function is to control access to day fix. And uh, two types. Orange types, uh, it means uh, that uh, vendors uh, may use um, de uh, JTAG debugging for ICH, for example, and uh, a talk partition for orange unlock um, must be signed by vendor scheme. Uh, this key is stored uh, in FPF uh, fuses. And more interesting is red unlock, uh, because uh, this unlock provides full access to PCH de uh, internal devices. Uh, uh, unlocks GTAC for ME core and uh, provides unlimited access to memory, uh, ME, uh, to ME memory. Intel management engine um, uses two devices for support hardware debugging. The fix aggregator management defects uh, functionality and uh, CCS zeroing register from device called GAN. And uh, only Bob and ROM uses this device. It is uh, CCS zeroing register. Uh, we, kn we know only about uh, one bit. Uh, we called it uh, Intel Unlock Request. And um, this register means um, that um, you asked the platform uh, to do Red Unlock. Uh, more, int uh, more interesting is GFX uh, ag uh, aggregator register and uh, personality register. Uh, personality register specifies type of unlock, red or orange, and uh, consent used for allow right to personality register. It means that uh, consent register. I, I, oh. Uh, it means that uh, this bit uh, to allow uh, write data in uh, the fixed person personality register. And um, read and lock works uh, working uh, in two step. Uh, on the one, uh, the bob. Uh, fund, is finding uh, UTOC partition. Uh, if partition found, the, uh, the BAP check, uh, is checking uh, partition uh, signature and uh, platform ID. Uh, also, uh, BAP checks uh, time uh, because UTOC uh, has uh, time li uh, limitation. And after that, if all okay is okay, 
uh, Bob Parson uh, en entry in Utok partition called uh, Knops. If uh, Intel Knop Unlock founded uh, and platform already uh, is not already unlocked, um, Bob set uh, CCL Zern register um, and uh, doing reset in E. After that, in ROM, uh, checking, uh, is checking um, CCL Zern register and uh, if it's set, uh, it um, to clean uh, this register and uh, switch on uh, consent and personality, it means uh, red unlock. After that, um, ROM is cleaning ME keys and uh, working. But uh, if you have active, uh, but if uh, DCI is active, EMEA doesn't latch the fix uh, consent register. It means that um, if you want to switch on JTAG, um, you uh, don't need to reboot ME if you have uh, DCI connection. And how activate, um, how activate uh, red unlock without Intel keys? On Black Hat Europe, we disclosed bug in BAP module. This function, as you can see, has a vulnerability. When it calls other function reading in BAP CT file, it gives incorrect size of uh, data to read. Instead of local buffer size, uh, the buffer defaced read file function gets the size of the whole file. How uh, we exploited this vulnerability you can find uh, in our presentation from Blink Hat. And uh, using the vulnerability, we also have activated GTAC for management engine. And uh, uh, to research ME, uh, inter in internal of ME. Uh, red activation without Intel keys. Um, Maybe doing uh, after four simple steps. Uh, on the first, activate manufacture mode for target. It needs for DCI and uh, set DCI strap in a flash descriptor. And using the vulnerability to load value uh, three to the fixed personality register, and uh, after that you you will have uh, an e-core, and uh, you can uh, to research uh, in internal SME. But unfortunately. Uh, you will have one problem uh, because uh, you um, don't uh, have software for debugging me. But it is small problem. Um, and next, let's talk about software part of technology stack. It's presented by Dal Intel the fixed abstraction layer package. It's a uh, LH library exposes all power of the fixed software model. Uh, as we found, DAL has large history, supports various platform and CPU architecture, designed to work with different uh, debug ports and uh, hardware. We, are, um, um, we know that DAL is a core of all instruments that Intel uses for testing and debugging um, of its hardware and firmware components. So it's provided with uh, Intel System Studio, for example, and uh, can be downloaded without any NDA. And DAL is almost written in C Sharp and has uh, uh, same structure. Uh, 
on the top, uh, DAL has uh, inter interface, console interface and GUI interface, and uh, library layer, and uh, driver, transport, and uh, they fix on target. We found a patient from Intel in public uh, description to relation of uh, the fix EXI and uh, internal interfaces. Um, you can see our previous work to details about how how, um, how internal structure of Dell works. Dell is. Um, Architecture is based on not notion. There are two types of nodes, physical and logical. Uh, physical nodes um, represent three of hardware components um, organized from prop uh, unit and including the following levels, GTEC, uh, E2C bus, and uh, another. Logical nodes represent uh, certain functionality that can be used to perform debugging stuff. And uh, many problems that public version of DAL doesn't include configuration for ME Core. Uh, however, that uh, didn't stop us, and we found uh, the solution. How I said, DAL um, has uh, different, um, uh, has some configuration, and uh, as we investigated during reverse engineering of the DAL library, its configuration is included uh, in encrypted XML files. DAL uses IS cipher and uh, key derivation function PBKDF2 uh, with fixed key and salt. The first of lines of poem, it is sold, and uh, ATP is, is a key. The simple program uh, on uh, the simple program allows the crypto device configuration of DAL. Thank you. Maybe another uh, poems um, to decrypt, uh, for example, um, micro code of CPU. I don't know. However, there is no configuration of ME devices. We found that ME core is an um, LMT2 devices, and the configuration of this device can be found in decrypted XML files. Therefore, anybody can write configuration for ME. Uh, it, for example, uh, on the slide you can see uh, internal structure of LP series of uh, PCH. It is U series of CPU and uh, SL tab uh, divided on uh, four part and uh, on top uh, connected part system E and uh, ME core. And how, uh, how to do custom configuration? Uh, five, uh, four first steps. On the first, decrypt XML files. The second, uh, add the following lines to top SPT XML. And use dull environment for ME debugging. And it will be make your computer personal again. Some demo. Uh, one moment. Okay. It is trial version of System Studio, and we decrypt uh, files uh, with configuration of DAL. Uh, 
and uh, to edit uh, to add some lines. The top is for uh, H series of PCH, and uh, the bottom for LP series. It is in Ecore. It is linked uh, between ME Core and uh, Cell Tap. We hold their execution. We load uh, some, we are loading some. Uh, Library, our own library. We set up um, reset breaks. Uh, it needs for uh, to stop on reset vector in ME. So you can see uh, GDT table and uh, current instruction and register value, uh, LDT value. And we are doing uh, reset me. Uh, uh, And stepping instruction into into me the initialize of segments and new GDT value. Okay, and. Uh, Okay, and demo from Black Hat. Uh, it is our stand. It is host platform. We two held it. We init uh, settings for any core. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it is not a me. Reset vector, how you can see. In Hatchy interfa uh, interface, um, it is a special device between uh, which uh, manufacture for um, for links uh, between host CPU and ME. And now we read uh, some read-only register for CPU from Hatchy. And set the value of this register from ME. The magic. Applause. 
And the my demo is more interesting than my English, sorry. And I have uh, a live demo. Oh. If internet will be good. Uh. One moment. Hmm. It's my machine on the work and Uh, the internet is not good, sorry. Maybe maybe later. Uh, okay. And our achievement JTAG activation, uh, we, we do JTAG and uh, we have achievement in respect to the vulnerability. In addition, um, we uh, activate JTAG for ME. Uh, also, we dumped the ME started code and uh, found the way to extract platform ski used by the flash, uh, flash file system. It means that um, you can decrypt uh, and uh, integrate uh, U files into ME, and uh, ME doesn't detect it. And our links on our GitHub page, you can find uh, our tools for ME reversing, uh, researching, and our blogs with our article, our reference. And thank you for your attention. Question, please. So anyone that has a question for Maxime, please line up by one of the microphones. They are one, two, three, four on this side of the room and five, six, seven, eight on that side of the room. If you are watching online, we have a signal angel who is monitoring the internet for all of your interesting questions and they will be asked. So already here at microphone number one. Okay, so you mentioned, you mentioned that you dumped the room. And previously, there were some firmwares with ROM bypass available. Did you compare the dump ROM yeah. against ROM bypass? Yeah. And is it the same? No. No? We found uh, there's some difference, uh, but it uh, relates with uh, that ME uh, bypass code starts into protected mode, but uh, real ROM starts into real mode. Okay, so otherwise it's functionally almost the same. Mm, we, we found uh, some difference in cryptography, but uh, I think it is not important. Yes. So if, you're, you. if you Thanks. are leaving, please be quiet. So the talk is still going on. We're still having questions and answers, and please be considerate of the people asking questions. Thank you. Uh, the next one from microphone number five. Yeah, so you set the personality register to red and then you reset the ME and it will break at the reset. Um, is that register persistent over reboots or you have to do the exploit and set it every time? Yeah, you need to do it every time. This uh, only CCS zeroing uh, persists uh, be be between uh, resets. Signal Angel, is there a question from the internet? Yes, uh, they'd like to know where to find the internal USB port on the main board. Sorry, please repeat the question. 
the question is where to find the internal USB port on the main board for the JTAG access? Uh, how I know all um, USB ports uh, now has access to uh, DFX functionality. You don't need to find each port uh, on your system. If you have a uh, platform with uh, Skylake, uh, you always has uh, this functionality on your USB ports. Oh, of course, if uh, these ports um, link it directly to PCH. If if it is um, ports um, con uh, link, uh, connected uh, via some um, another uh, controller, uh, you probably don't have the say on this port. Microphone microphone number two. Does your work uh, means you can extract any key from ME, for example, key for SGX remote access station? I don't know. Uh, we, we are starting this research uh, how ME relates with uh, SGX, and we, uh, I, I don't know uh, how, uh, how key uh, in ME um, extract uh, uh, d derive and load it and relate with HGX. I don't know, sorry. Microphone number one. Did you receive any, um, um, any messages, any recognition uh, about this from Intel? Uh, you mean that uh, 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 did we share this information with Intel? No, no, did, did, they, react to, uh, did they react in any way to that? After our vulnerability, they said, OK. <laughs> <laughs> OK, no, so nothing much except for patches. Yeah. OK, thank you. Signal Angel, is there another question from the internet? Yeah, how can you uh, dis disable the, the JTAG access? Can, uh, is just disabling the ME enough, or what do you have to do? To Sorry, you mean um, how uh, Intel uh, disabled uh, the CI functionality for me? And how, how, can you, how, how, can you, how can you fix it now? How could the Intel fix it, or how can you secure your own system? It is not. Uh, it is a feature. It is not bug. Sorry. <laughs> uh, you don't have any chance a chance to switch on JTAG for ME if you don't have UTOC or you don't have vulnerability. And JTAG uh, um, for ME uh, active, uh, uh, switch on only uh, uh, inter um, BAP mod module. Uh, in, inter in BAP module, if uh, we have vulnerability in other module, for example, in, in AMT, we uh, mustn't do it. And uh, if you uh, have it, it's mm, it's feature. It is not bug. You you can uh, sw uh, switch off the CI in flash descriptor and uh, to fix the CI problem, which we found in last year. Last year, and um, it will be okay. Microphone number four in the back. I believe one of your previous slides mentioned that they incorporated a Java virtual machine. Why on God's earth did they do that? Uh, how I know um, this, uh, it is dull and um, it has some um, relative with HGX when I know. I don't know details. So, microphone number five. Uh, on the last slide, you mentioned uh, the extraction of uh, platform keys. Uh, a simple question. Uh, are there enough to sign a, uh, a firmware update uh, uh, which you would modify so that AMI would uh, accept it? Um, 
No. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Please repeat. Uh, <laughs> Okay, so let me rephrase. Uh, uh, I, I, I understand. Um, uh, you uh, okay? Uh, the uh, firmware signed it uh, by public Intel public key. I don't have private key of Intel, and uh, this key is not um, built in into me. It is platform. It is only platform key. Mm -hmm. uh, this key for symmet uh, symmetric uh, encryption uh, files uh, and sign it files on the file system. Uh, if you have this key, um, you can only modify fi any file system. But unfortunately, the uh, execution module um, stored. Uh, in uh, in other places. Okay, I uh, I get it. So no easy path for uh, castrating system from uh, me yet. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Signal Angel. Uh, can you have only free software running on the ME? Sorry, please repeat question slowly. <laughs> Can you have only free software running on the ME by modifying the flash contents? Uh, I don't understand, sorry. <laughs> um, you mean that uh, uh, how, how, uh, how you, uh, we can modify the file systems or not? Yeah, and replace the, the ME firmware by uh, no. free code. No, no, unfortunately, uh, because uh, we, uh, we mustn't to change uh, the, uh, uh, the chain between ROM and BAP module. And we mustn't to change uh, kernel of ME and uh, BAP module. I don't uh, know how uh, use it functionality for change ME to open source uh, solution. Uh, but uh, of course you can to do uh, you can do special device with JTEC functionality which to replace after reboot all ME from reset vector and execute it but it is some uh, some uh, some mm, uh, in, uh, impossible, <laughs> I think. Microphone number two. Are you aware of anywhere where the Minix image has been leaked somewhere where perhaps it could be downloaded and analyzed? Uh, unfortunately, um, ME, the kernel of ME. Uh, only based on Minix. And uh, the Intel guys uh, almost all to, uh, to rewrite uh, all, almost all kernel and on re re reverse engineering. And maybe in the, uh, you can um, get information from Intel after sign, sign it in DA. I don't know. <laughs> Microphone number eight. Do you think it? Do you think it would, will ever be possible to add your own public keys, or are the Intel public keys for signing the firmware stored in a ROM only? Oh, sorry. Uh, you mean? Uh, well, could, could you add your own public keys for signing firmware with, uh, or is that not possible because the ME checks the public key that is of? ME checks. Uh, uh, Yep. Im ME checks only um, only hash of public key, and we know that uh, uh, ROM has uh, uh, that ME may to load uh, version of ME which signs on two keys. Uh, we uh, saw only one keys from uh, from boss. And uh, uh, Rome uh, checked 
that um, uh, checks uh, the um, SHA from public key uh, exist in uh, in um, white white list. Uh, ROM has uh, hard coded eight key uh, eight uh, hashes of keys and uh, some list for uh, some white list uh, of, of these hashes. And uh, if you keys in this list, you can run um, your ME firmware. firmware. Okay, but that list of hashes is in ROM. Right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Signal Angel. What is your general impression of the security of LME? How vulnerable is it to attacks? Uh, uh, sorry. You mean how vulnerable? Uh, you mean uh, how vulnerability to help us do it? Sorry, I didn't. No, how vulnerable is it to other attacks? Uh, on other uh, model, yeah? Sorry, on uh, the what? Uh, in other module. So th I think the question is, in general, how good is the security of the Intel ME? Uh, so, sorry, echo. <laughs> in general, how good is the security of the Intel ME? Oh. I think that, uh, of course, yes, because um, the independent researcher uh, can use it for dynamic analysis of ME codes. It's, f it's cool, I, I think. Microphone number seven. Do you have plans to uh, research some specific parts of the Intel ME uh, in the future? Yeah, of course. Uh, Intel. Uh, will uh, uh, will uh, publish uh, ME11 version, and I know that uh, they changed Huffman tables, for example, and uh, the next um, uh, the next round of this game <laughs> will start it. Is there another question at microphone seven? Um, so, if I understood you correctly, just to make sure, this means that you, if you have a CPU of this Skylake architecture you, and a USB 3 port, you can always get low level access to the ME. Exactly. Um, so, if I were to own such a chip, I would want that patched. What's the usual um, path? Does, the pa does that come in a Windows patch or a BIOS update, or what is it? Uh, you have some, some ways to, to, uh, to use it. If you have a uh, SPI programmer, you, you can rewrite uh, Flash. You, you mean how we uh, how how you can um, exploit it? It yeah. No. Um, how does how will how sorry how will Intel um, distribute a patch for this vulnerability? Oh, unfortunately, because um, downgrade always possible. Uh, Intel um, patched only error in uh, Bob function, but. Um, researcher or attacker can always to downgrade version or to uh, early ME and exploit it without any problem via uh, SPI controller or uh, SPI programmer and maybe another way. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Microphone number one. Uh, in the demo vid video, uh, we saw the connection between the two uh, machines with this blue box. Yeah. Uh, but I think there's another one, uh, way to connect them with uh, just a USB cable. Uh, is there anything you can do with the blue box that you can't do without it? Yeah, we, we checked it. 
uh, we use only USB 3 debug cable, but uh, it is not uh, possible for us because um, we need to um, to recover uh, the state of BAP for loading an E. Uh, I do it, but uh, I don't like that because I need to stop uh, execution for my uh, for for, uh, for my research. It's easy for me, and uh, because we, we are using uh, blue box. Thank you, Signal Angel. Do you plan to publish a mass ROM dump in the future? Yeah, we will plan to, to do it here. Yeah. Signal Angel again. Uh, just give me a moment. Uh, I don't know, maybe when I come back to Moscow. Any other burning questions? Please come up to one of the numbered microphones. Then with that, let's give Maxim a great warm welcome. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you so much, Maxim.